Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Elevated Trailers YouTube channel. Exciting day today. As you can see, we got the Earth Roamer here, and then we built this support trailer for the Earth Roamer that does a ton of stuff. Guy drove all the way from Florida to have us build this because he couldn't find somebody else that was willing to do it. So stay tuned, and I'll take you through all the systems that are inside this trailer to make it the ultimate support trailer for him. And it could also just be a standalone trailer that would work great to do everything you need out on the mountain. So stay tuned, we'll walk you through it. All right, guys, let's get into the meat of this trailer now. I'll tell you all the facts and features about it and why it's so awesome as a support trailer or as a standalone for boondocking. I had to make a note because there's so much stuff in here, I didn't want to forget anything. Um, but this comes with a 30 gallon freshwater tank, 30 gallons of fuel, 8 gallon diesel tank on the front there, 7.5 gallon propane tank, 800 watts of solar on the roof, wired in series and parallel. Um, hooked into a 60 amp MPPT charge controller, six Renogy 100 amp hour self-heating batteries so they can be used in cold weather and not have issues, 3000 watt Renogy pure sign inverter, um, USB ports, battery monitors, we got this um, awning right behind us with lights underneath it, power awning, uh, it's got a diesel heater inside of it that will keep it very, very warm in there. Um, you can run that diesel heater on those eight gallons for about 300 hours, 250 hours on low. Um, it's got tank heaters on the fresh gray tank and on the gray pipe so that you can use it in sub-zero temperatures and not freeze anything. It has a 12 volt air conditioner that runs off the Renogy batteries. Um, it has a full spray foam underneath it to insulate the whole floor um, and tons more, not to mention the full rhino line we did on it to match what's to match the earth roamer um and then come on inside and we'll we'll kind of go through all this show you how we mounted it show you how we did it there's obviously there's also a washer and dryer inside this trailer um so yeah come on in guys and we'll talk about the rest of the stuff okay before we head inside i thought i'd show you a few, couple cool things right here on the tongue first thing is this articulating hitch so you can take this thing off road into really uneven country and you don't have bind on your coupler torquing because this rotates like this and then the coupler rotates like this to give you full range of motion. Here on the front of the trailer, we installed, this outlet is actually wired into the inverter so that you can charge things off the trailer, off your batteries. Let's say the batteries on your house trailer or whatever else you're trying to use are dead. Plug that trailer into this trailer and you can pull the power out of the batteries and solar and put it into whatever you're using there. Um, and then this is obviously just the 30 amp um, in on this trailer. Here's that diesel tank. Um, so yeah, now we'll head around and talk about some other stuff. All right, there's so much stuff, like I said, that as we go through this, I'm gonna notice things and stop, but we did do Timbrin axleless suspension on this trailer. So all four wheels are independent suspension. What that allowed us to do is lift the trailer quite a bit to give us more ground clearance. And it gives you a fully independent four wheel suspension. All right, guys, here we are inside the trailer, and there is a lot going on in here. Um, we'll just start at the back and kind of move forward. We've mounted outlets in the back corners with USB ports in them. So all the electrical, anything you need to charge, this has. Drop-down corner post stabilizer jacks so that you can set this thing up and have it be rock solid when you're walking around in it and using it. Here in the ceiling, this is a Dometic 12-volt air conditioner. This thing runs off the six Renogy batteries. And with the 800 watts of solar in full sun is almost a net neutral on what it draws because you get so much solar out of the 800 watts um, on the roof. Built-in e-track down the walls here, rubber coin floor, fully insulated walls and ceiling. Um, and then right here on the wall, we've got all our switches for all our lights, obviously tons of lighting in here. And then um, this is the remote control for the diesel heater. And this is the remote control for the 12 volt air conditioner. Behind me, you'll see a set of Splendid uh, washer and dryer, solid mounted in here, um, work awesome. So you can wash your clothes. And something cool that we did is we wired them into this outlet right here, right? Which runs off of a generator if you're plugged in. But if you're not somewhere where you can, if you don't have a generator, you don't wanna run it or whatever, you can unplug these and there's enough slack they can plug into the 3000 watt pure sign inverter and you can run your washer and dryer off of your batteries with your inverter. So you don't have to ever really have a generator to run anything in this trailer as long as you have enough sunlight. Diesel heaters piped out right here. 
this is a 30 amp charge plug. If you have like electric bikes, things like that, that you want to charge up, this is your six gallon DSI water heater, which I forgot to mention earlier. It's also got a water heater built into it so that you can wash your clothes with hot water and, or use your sink with hot water. Um, in this control panel with the obviously 3000 watt inverter, you've got a battery monitor that tells you exactly how much is coming out of your batteries or going into your batteries, how long they'll last. Um, so seven days and one hour at a three amp draw or how long it will take to fill them up if you don't have any amp draw. And then that's your controller for your diesel heater right there. Uh, we just put another USB charge controller center right here. Part of the reason to do that is we want a cigarette lighter so that we could power this Dometic CFX 100 um, cooler. This thing can freeze and or refrigerate. It's awesome and it, it has very low power consumption. Um, 100 liters of storage right there. So you can use this obviously as your fridge and or freezer. Um, up underneath here, you can see we've mounted everything clean. You've got water pumps, bus bars, drains for your washer and dryer, custom battery shelf we built with the six red edges, all tied together with Cat5 cables so you get really good communication and know exactly where you're at on everything. The outdoor shower we plumbed into the water heater as well so you can take hot outdoor showers um, and then we obviously have all our fuses bus bars to make sure that everything is is safe and fused correctly so we're not overloading any of the circuits or trying to put every single wire into uh, one set of batteries one post on the batteries down there this is your um, AC panel right here and charge controller so this charges your batteries and you're plugged into shore power and then it also um, runs all your 110 circuits in the trailer i know i'm forgetting some stuff um, we did build this this custom shelf right here on top of the washer and dryer that secured it in place and then you've just got an overhead cabinet here with your charge controller the bluetooth module that allows you to monitor your batteries from your cell phone so you know exactly what's going on without having to come in here and look at what's happening. Owner's manuals, adapters, um, on and on. Another thing we did for this customer is he boondocks a lot and sometimes he's parked next to a stream or river and he needs more water to put in this trailer because he washes clothes out of this thing. So we put in the pump that you saw below the shelf here and we made that so that it fits with garden hoses so that if you ever have to replace hoses, it's easy, but you can throw that in a lake river, bucket, barrel, whatever you need, and refill your water into this trailer using a pump that can plug into this. Um, and then obviously we have a, a propane detector because we have a propane bottle on this. We're gonna run hooks down the walls here still. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, we custom built pretty much all the stuff you're seeing inside of this trailer exactly to his specifications. And if you need something, a build similar to this, reach out and let us know. Um, he's coming all the way from Florida because we were the only shop that had the expertise and know-how to do this whole thing, do it correctly and, and do it, you know, um, with the budget that he wanted. All right, guys. So let's recap here. Um, just one more time, give you a summary of everything we did. Um, got to get my note back out, but again, fresh water, washer and dryer, onboard fuel, diesel heater, 800 watts of solar, 600 amp hour batteries, 3000 watt inverter, battery monitor, water heater, um, the solar charge controller, obviously, power awning, spray foamed underneath, uh, tank heaters, 12 volt air conditioner. And then we added this uh, wireless camera back here. So when you're backing up, you can see inside your cab what's behind you. Um, so yeah, super sweet trailer, timberless axle, Timbrin axleless suspension um, and a lot of other stuff that I went over earlier. But yeah, give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. And thanks for watching.